One year after the toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, residents are still living in hotels and looking for answers, as Joe Biden is finally set to visit the town this month. Let's bring in East Palestine Mayor Trent Conaway. Trent, good to see you. It has been a year. I want to get to the last year, but first of all, Joe Biden plans to visit. Um, better late than never. What's your What's your view? It's been a year. Uh, yeah, better late than never. Uh, I sent him an invitation about a month ago. Um, I had a small group of residents, very small group of residents, that wanted me to send him a letter and actually send him an invitation. So I, I did. I didn't think I needed to, but I, you know, I sent him an invitation and he is accepted. So we will welcome him graciously. Well, Trent, I'm sure you will. Um, but you said the right thing. You said I shouldn't think I would have to. I mean, this was a highly publicized disaster. Donald Trump, other officials were there rather quickly. Why do you think it took so long? Uh, not quite sure. I don't know if there was political uh, reasons behind it or, you know, what it was exactly. But, uh, you know, that's in the past and, you know, we're trying to move forward as a village. So, you know, we want to move on and just get this visit over with. Uh, hopefully he can help us get a couple answers. And if he can't, then we'll just move on and uh, well, you've done we'll it on your own. Yeah, I mean, you've done yep. it. Uh, what What is the, for our viewers out there who remember this, and then, you know, as news goes, news comes, news goes, um, update us on, on your people. Uh, for the most part, everybody's going, doing good. They want to move on. Uh, we're trying to get out of the cleanup phase and moving more into the uh, economic development phase and, you know, trying to get some uh, life bud pumped back into the businesses in town and, uh, revitalize our downtown and try to take the stigma that we have from being a you know toxic train derailment town and try to change that. Uh, speaking of that, water, air, smell, uh, it, it, uh, do you feel safe? Uh, I, I feel safe. Uh, drinking water, um, as far as the municipal water source goes, is excellent. Um, we've done you know well over a couple hundred tests and you know no we haven't got anything in that uh surface water yeah there it's still we still have some issues you know still working with the epa diligently to try to get that taken control um and trying to get a, some more testing done in some of these homes to make people feel comfortable to come back to their homes so. totally get that uh, last question how's norfolk southern been the train company on this uh ever since they covered up the tracks and ran the trains through and, you know, we had that issue. They've been great to work with. Um, you know, I, I, I can't say enough. Um, I think it starts at the top of their leadership with Alan Shaw. Um, you know, he's made a pledge to make it right. And so far, you know, between I and the other village administration, we've been holding his feet to the fire. And we think that um, it'll continue to be that way. So, well, that's good to hear. Uh, Mayor Trent Conaway, yes. uh, good luck on the visit. I guess better late than never. You'd wish it was more proactive, but I hope you get the answers you deserve.